Hello Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Lagrange. This video will be for all the new players out there. So if you're already an experienced player, please don't just go away. Um, leave some comments for the new players, giving them some information. So what I want to talk about today is really the basics. What should you do at the beginning? How does the game work? And also what are seasons, because every time a new player start asking things and I say, oh great, we start a new season very soon, I can do some um, basics and show how to start the game, they always get confused. So the game always runs for a certain amount of time. During that time you can see here with this galaxy view when you click there, there's a galactic events progress and there's also up here a timer that is running down. When you get to the end, um, the season will end very soon. I can't tell you exactly how many days it is. I think it's also a little bit um, variable depending on what kind of server you are. Now it's getting again complicated. After your first season, you can select what kind of server you want to play. There are different um, goals to reach, different things that will rate you. But um, I can make a video specifically about this. Important to note is um, the game always runs a certain amount of time and there's a goal. Usually you have to take over the galaxy more or less, um, hold the leg range gate and be the dominating um, union in the game. But that doesn't mean that if you cannot do that you cannot have fun and um, even get some ratings. The rating points um, depend on your agreement and um, you will see at the end you will be able um, to get some points and there's also the information what you keep and that's very important even with the new season that I'm starting now and I can show you this um, going to the base I start with a level one base meaning same as a new player and that's the interesting part now that's where I can show you how the game works and let's start directly here. If you're a new player, the most important thing is you have to go to your base. So you find your base somewhere, you can click on it, you can click on view or you just click on base. It goes into the base menu. The important parts to um, take care at the beginning is definitely the construction queue. Make sure you always run this. To always run this you will need to have resources. Um, there's a maximum amount of resources that you can store in your base. Um, there are buildings to increase the amount of resources. There are also other bonus that can increase this. Very early in game you don't have to worry too much about this because um, we do have a lot of storage space for the first few days or weeks so um, not really a big problem. Now um, the first buildings you want to focus are the buildings that have these lines here. As you can see I already finished three, in this case even um, four of them here also for here for and all these lines are now filled up and that allows me to start building the next zone to expand my base. The more you expand your base the more advanced buildings you can build, the more advanced buildings you can build, the bigger ships you can build, the bigger fleets you can send out and so on and so on. So early on focus on the buildings that have these markings and build as many till these markings are full and you will be allowed to do the expanding. Now the important point there is um, you can speed up buildings and I just play now for around 18 minutes and you can see I already start expanding. The reason for this is you cannot speed up the expanding. This is always a fixed time but you can speed up these other buildings. So. Um, Utility shipyard. If I go to upgrade, it costs me 1200 metal. You can see this here. Um, 10 crystal and 5 deuterium. I can click on upgrade and now it takes either 10 minutes or I speed it up. If you want to be um, powerful, strong, you do speed up the buildings to fill up these bars and that will allow you to expand as soon as possible. So that's my first tip for you. Focus on these buildings 
um, that you can expand as fast as possible. Later these expansions will take two or three days to build. So um, don't worry, you will not sit in front of the PC 24 seven for that. Um, the later the game is, the longer the building time is. We can also see some of the buildings are already red. That means I do not have enough resources anymore to build them. And um, where can I get resources? There are two ways to get resources. Um, the first way is from the space dust you have. Your tutorial will already tell you that you have to send your fleets there together. So you don't really need to worry too much about this. It will happen automatically. And then the next resources you want to gather are metal zone resources because to build buildings you need a lot of metal. So early on metal is your number one resource that you need. Now just with the resources that you can mine you will not have enough and that's where we have to look at the symbol here um, and go to the main mission. The main mission early on in game is your main source of resources. You can see here um, just by building these buildings I already get all these done and we do get here 16,000 and 12,000 metal. That is one of our most important resources we get and that's my next tip. Make sure that you check that you can progress here that you do not run out of resources. Every time your buildings start to get red because you don't have enough resources, check your main missions and make sure that you can continue progressing in these missions. So I have to kill another pirate. Um, I am lucky there's another level one pirate. So I will just send my fleet there to kill this one. If you're a new player, you don't have many options for the ships that you have available. You will just have to use your FG300 fleets. That is fine, don't worry. Level 1 pirates are pretty weak. As you can see here, it's one single ranger frigate. Um, if you come in with 3 or 4 FG300s, you will win that fight versus level 1 pirates. So, not too big of a deal. Now, these are the two main things. Building and getting resources. To build you need the resources so this goes hand in hand. I will also make sure that I can continue building here. Um, the generic port, this is one of the important things, the ports will increase your command point limit and you do need these command points to build more ships. Now this brings us to the next thing we have here in the base, military port. And resource port. As you can see here my resource port is 20 of 20, my military port is 17 of 25. Down here on the left we can build new ships and um, on the bottom right you can go directly to your mining ships. Um, we saw I have 20 of 20 so I cannot build more mining ships. Make sure you always max out your resource port command points, build as many mining ships as you can, speed these also up. Um, Speeding them up means you can um, mine resources earlier. Mining them earlier means you will have more during the game and that means you can continue building more ships. After this I cannot tell you now what ships to build because I don't know what you have. For new players it is difficult. But I made a few videos about fleet setups as well as about um, how yeah, tier lists like the frigate, um, just search for it, Infinite Lagrange, um, frigate tier list. You will find videos not only from me, also I know Dampfire has some very good videos about this. Check them out, check what ship do you have from the ships that are in the higher category and focus on these. For me, I do also explain where and how I would use these ships, so um, this should give you a good idea. and. Um, you can't do too much wrong as a new player because you don't really have so much ships. Which brings us to the third point. So as you see we do have now our military port is nearly maxed out. I don't have a ship that only requires two points. Um, the resource port also. That's good. I already did send out my fleet here to fight. You can just fight by clicking on the enemy. The tutorial was already teaching you this so I don't have to repeat this. 
How do you get new ships? New ships go um, come in blueprints. For this, you have to go to the research and you can see here, I already have two blueprints or two tech boxes in research. Unfortunately, I didn't find any blueprint here. In the store, you can buy more of these black market tech files. Every day you can get a black market tech file for 150 Proxima coins. That is the one you should buy if you're free to pay player. You need to get more Proxima coins. How do you do that? You have to get your Dawn funding scheme. So there's a Dawn financial plan and you should save 1000 Proxima coins to buy the biggest Dawn financial plan, which gives you a total um, of, I think, 3000, no, total income, 2500 Proxima coins. So you do get more coins um, back than you invest, which is pretty good. Every day you get, we see here, day one to day five, six, you get 100 Proxima coins, um, sometimes 150, and at the end you do get 200 Proxima coins. Together with some events, and um, every time we have a patch, we also get Proxima coins. Very likely that will be enough to um, be able to buy every day your tech file. The other thing where we can get tech files is from the partnership agreement. The upper pass is free. You don't have to pay for this. You see, I already got Proxima coins here. Another source of Proxima coins. I got one tech box here. Um, all chances to get more blueprints. If you want to spend a little money and support the developers, I would recommend you to sign up for the strategic partnership agreement. You do get a lot of extra boxes and a lot of additional Proxima coins. And for the first time you do that also here at the end, you will get an ST-59 um, battle cruiser blueprint at the end. Only the first season, as far as I remember, or the first time you sign up. I can't even tell you if it was in the partnership or in the strategic one. Um, but you can see that you can just check that. If you want to do this, it is 15 US dollar. Um, I think it's a pretty good deal. It's not like in other games where these, yeah, they are very expensive. Um, but you can play the game totally fine without doing that. Now, when you get blueprints, you will be able to build these ships. So let's stick with frigate at the moment. And um, you can see I do already have quite a few more frigates to choose from. All these frigates can do a little bit different things. If you start with the FG300, um, you will have the FG300 multi-role. And as soon as you start killing pirates, let's go to the battle report. I just killed a pirate. I got the battle report here. And when we go to the battle results, we see I did get experience point on my rail yard blueprint. Now, every time you get XP on your blueprints, um, they will get a little higher. And at one point they will level up. And every time your blueprint levels up, you will be able to get these tech points here. You see, I have six tech points in the FG300. And these you can use then to improve the weapon system, the armor, or the propulsion. Now, I would not recommend to focus on the propulsion if you're a new player. Most ships will only be able to fly faster. A few ships can increase their evasion. Increasing evasion is pretty nice. Um, you will not get hit so often. But most often what you want to go for for most ships will be the main weapon system. The main weapon system has a small M here mark and you want to increase the tech points or the skills here. Um, in general, most important is always hit rate. Cooldown is usually very strong. So hit rate, cooldowns, everything that allows you to hit enemies. So also if weapon systems reducing the chance to get intercepted is good. Um, here we have more hit rate. Sometimes the hit rate comes with yeah, specific targets like here fighters, corvettes. Um, and there's also strategic... Um, skills which are more uh, more expensive so you see this one costs 15 tech points while the others only cost two tech points um 
You want to know more about this? I'll make a separate video, else this video will get way too long. But I think the main purpose or the first steps should be clear by now. You need to get resources. You can get resources by mining, but mainly you will get them with the main mission. You see, I just killed the second pirate, so I get another 12,000 metal and another 4,000 from closing chapter 1. When you close chapter 1, you can go to chapter 2, where you have more missions to fulfill. Then always make sure that you continue building. First focus should be the buildings that have these lines here that will allow you to expand your base. Second focus, I would recommend you to go for the port because you do need the additional command points to be able to build more ships. Um, you will also see like here the small integrated land. These are really nice because they produce additional resources also very good the habitat will produce ue coins very good next level we get another port and so on and so on in level three you will also be able to unlock the trading center with this you will be able to trade different kind of resources which is also something pretty nice and useful now um Construction underway. i think that is what you have to do early on that should be your focus building your base you don't need to worry about getting attacked you do have a protective peace shield for the first 48 hours so at least for two days you are safe and even after that usually um if you are not <laughs> somehow a big enemy of an enemy alliance single players will have problems killing your base you usually take two or three players um, to kill a base early on in game so you should be pretty safe what will happen is that they will start to attack your miners um, so see that you can find a union the um, tutorial will also ask you to join a union already um, and as always strength comes in numbers in war games so having a strong union will make the game more fun and safer and from there on you can start doing more pve more pvp um, taking cities and so on and so on always check your surroundings so as you see i do have a friend here next to me friends people in your union are blue um, unknown are orange red are pirates early on um, also enemy unions will be red and um, I do hope that this explained at least some basics of the game for you. I know it's a lot to take in. Um, so let me know what other questions you have. Um, let me know what kind of topics I should go more into the deep to explain them. Um, use the search functions. I already made over 80 videos for this game. Demfire made a lot of videos for this game. But if there's still something you would like to have a better explanation, a tutorial, just let me know in the comments. And as usual, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and then I'll see you on the next video again.